welcome back to the channel. Sorry, I took a week off. I had a chest infection, but I'm doing much better now. Thanks to everyone that asked. I'm currently driving through the British countryside, heading to um, Soho Farmhouse. And today I'm gonna give you a quick update on what's going on. There's a new car I want to buy. Uh, we're currently in a new car now, but I'm not gonna talk much about that on this video. But um, the new car I wanna get is also a Mercedes, which is also what we're in now. Everything's pretty chill. SF90 is pretty much sold. So um, that's sad. Uh, 918, I really want a 918. My wife isn't a massive Porsche fan. So the next task is to make sure she gets behind this. And I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get her behind this by saying, mm -hmm. as soon as the 918 arrives, the first thing we're gonna do is drive to Monaco, roof down, Ooh. cruising in our Porsche 918. Yes, yes, okay, cool. Agree, 918's on the way. I'm gonna go look at a 918 uh, sometime next week, so I'll bring you a video on that when I actually look at it. But currently, at this point in time, we're inside Reduce my wife, uh, Camille's new G-Wagon. Um, this is a G63 AMG Magno Edition. I can't remember, but it's um, a very nice interior. The cockpit is a lot better than the previous generation, and it's actually the perfect vehicle for these kind of roads. You see, there's a lot of undulations and um, a lot of um, off-roading that's involved when you're driving through the Cotswolds. Well, I say off-roading, just really bad roads. But um, the G-Wagon handles it well, especially with his new hydraulic suspension system. It manages to keep the car level, so no more serious body roll when you go around bending corners you also have the updated mbux infotainment system that is a lot clearer a lot more responsive and now finally it's a touchscreen g wagons this is the first touchscreen g wagon ever the 20 years behind everyone else so uh, we've eaten lunch now um you can't actually film when you're around here it's very strict no camera policy but the car that i'm thinking about getting is a W204 C63 507 edition. I spoke to you guys about that car in my video about cars that are gonna go up in value. And obviously this is a car that I feel like it's been at this price now for a while and it's only going one way. Iconic sound, iconic looks. I just think it'll be a nice car to have to drive occasionally, but um, mostly it's just scratching that itch that I had when I was a child. There's a 458. Uh, so uh, it's night time now. We're going for a drive. When I say we, my car club. So uh, we've got uh, Hurricane Technica, GT3 RS, 992 GT3, 296, and I'm in the Storato with um, red hot exhaust, if you can see inside. So we're just getting fuel. Uh, just fuel. The, the fuel here is really expensive. He's strapping in his dog, something he should do more often. Look, safety procedure there. Wow. Another safety procedure yeah. here. Sign up, you get these member boxes. And um, the last person coming on the drive is one of our new members, and he's late, so here's his box. Hey, G. Hey, hey G, th th thanks for being late, bro. Huh? Thanks for being late, your walkie's in there. Oh. Just turn it on, it's ready to go. Oh, no. So we've pulled up now. Um, these guys had to park on that side. Oh, it's a fun drive, fun little drive. This car is invincible. I can do whatever I want. Do I can just jump onto curbs, grass, slide it around corners. Just roundabouts. Some, roundabouts, it's just a bit of fun. Uh, the Technica, this is a nice color, man. Really nice color, and the GT3 RS. Nice little drive there. And check out the red hot, are they still hot? No, they're not hot anymore. <laughs> Wait, cheers again. Ching ching. Cheers. Yeah. Okay, uh, next day now, back home. Um, it was a great drive last night, I had a lot of fun. I took the SVJ out today, last day of sun. I thought, um, why not give it a blast? But I'm gonna give you a sneak peek at the G-Wagon. Yeah, uh, it's white now, uh, so Magna white, new rims. Uh, again, I'll give you a proper video later, but uh, there it is. And look how much bigger it is than a Lamborghini Urus. Uh, that is kind of ridiculous. But yes, um, back uh, to um, car buying business. Um, the 918, I'm seeing it next week, the one I want. Um, I, I, I left a deposit on one a, uh, a few months ago, and the company I left the deposit with one day called me and said, Oh, Tommy, we know you've left a deposit, but another customer is interested in buying it cash today. So I said, okay, if that's the case, go ahead and do it because I am not going to be rushed into buying a 1.2, 1.15 million pound car. It just doesn't make sense to me. So I said, go ahead, sell it to them. Just send me my deposit back. Um, they then said, oh, the buyer backed out. Um, so uh, do you still own the car? I said, no. You said you were selling it to someone else. Can I just have my deposit back? The reason I was like that is because if I leave a deposit, you can't now engage other people to sell them the car. Anyway, 
As I sent me my deposit back, it wasn't a small deposit, it's a very expensive car, so your deposit has to be hefty to secure it. And they said, okay, we'll send it to you back, less um, the check fees that we had to do on the car. And I said, listen, I asked you to do the check, you didn't say that it was something that I would have to pay for. You said the Porsche checks would be included when the car sold, when you buy the car, sorry. I said, okay, that's fine. Now you want to charge me the fees because I'm not buying the car and this other person buying the car. So I said, I'm absolutely not having that. Anyway, long story short, I, I didn't want the car. I didn't get the car. That situation left a proper sour taste in my mouth. That's why it's taken me so long to find another one because I'm looking for the right spec and also the right dealer. And I spoke to someone else that I know that has a 918. They said, look, Tommy, if you're buying a 918, take as long as you want and also make sure that it comes with everything and it, all the T's are crossed and all the I's are dotted. So I'm, I think this one might be the car, so I'm checking out this week. It's not available online at the moment, so you, I can't point you to it, but it's a YSAC pack car and it's not in silver, so that's two things that I wanted. With the W204, coincidentally, last night when I was um, on my drive, I received a DM from an owner of a W204 C63. This guy, he said to me, I um, uh, saw your TikTok about buying a C63. I'm looking to sell a fire, uh, fire Opal Red. I'm not a fan of red cars, but it looks decent in red. Just under 30,000 miles and two owners from new. Let me know if that's something you're interested in. And it is something I'm interested in because of the low mileage and the low owners. Uh, this is the car. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but it's red. And it looks pretty cool. So uh, I'm going to check it out, hopefully, and um, let you guys know. But I think I want to get this car before the end of the year. I don't know why I want this car so much, but I'm very impulsive and I have these moments of I want this, so I'm going to buy it. And then I uh, realize that I shouldn't be an idiot. So um, I'm going to check it out and um, keep you guys updated. But for now, let's jump on Auto Trader and see if there's any other um, options available. Ideally, white, silver, black. Let's check it out. So there are many 507 editions online. The 507 is a more limited version of the C63. Um, the performance was turned up a notch. Uh, it went on sale in 2014. It has bigger disc brakes for improved stopping, um, ventilated as well. It has more performance, hence the name 507. It's got 507 horsepower, although some people say it's 500. The bonnet scoops, um, giving it a more uh, imposing look and also improving cooling. And then on the interior, it has um, Alcantara. So it's just like a, a special trim of the car. Um, they didn't make that many of them. The Black Series is even more rare. But like I said earlier, the Black Series just seems like a lot of money for a car that um, I've never really wanted. I never really wanted the Black Series. I just wanted the regular one. I've never really been like, I want a Black Series. So um, we've got a bunch of white ones online. This, uh, the cheapest one online is £30,000 with 80,000 miles. So if I'm spending 40,000 pounds on a car with 30,000 miles, good news, uh, even if the money didn't change in the car, probably won't lose anything because I'm not gonna go up to 80,000 miles in it. And then also, uh, it just shows that this car can do 80,000 miles. Um, there's uh, another one here, 70,000 miles, uh, 66,000 miles. The 507 just seems super appealing to me. There's this white one here, 54,000 miles. Yeah, it's not as much as the others. I'm trying to stay below that. There's this black one, with 31,000 miles at 38,000 pounds. Also very appealing. Um, that red one, he's selling it for, I think just under 40, so like 38, 39-ish. Um, and that has below uh, 30,000 miles. This black one looks very nice. And for the price, it makes sense. And it's from a dealer as well, it's not a private seller. So they have some accountability to what they're selling as well. With this kind of purchase, my ideal situation here would be to get it on finance. So I have that added protection as well. And just because on finance, this car works out so cheap. I spoke to a company that I've used in the past, the company that I use sometimes to finance cars, Charles and Dean, and they worked out for me uh, that this car would only cost me 500 pounds a month on finance, there and about. 500 pounds a month for a C63, that's not bad. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not sure if I'm crazy, but that's not bad, especially when you're borrowing 40,000, but because the residual of the car is so high, uh, it just means that your monthly payments can be lower. Uh, yes, there's fuel and insurance to worry about, but that is a good, uh, it's a good uh, to me, it's a good deal for this kind of car, especially with the age, you would expect it to be more expensive. Yeah, I just think it makes sense, and I, I, I think this will be a car, a nice car to have in the collection. It's like a collectible, park it up, bring it out, three, four times a year, uh, maybe take it to shows, change some bits on it. Like if I bought this black one, I would de-chrome it. I'm not a massive fan of chrome. Um, the interior of this black one isn't 
a massive uh, appeal to me. But um, yeah, I, I think it just makes sense. I never even knew it had a panoramic roof. That's even a bonus. The original car I looked at was this silver one here. It just, um, for some reason, this one spoke to me. I think the pricing is on the higher side and it's a private seller, just meaning that, again, the accountability isn't really there uh, in terms of, uh, like, is it in good condition? Is it is, is it what they say it is? And this car's also had four owners, which um, I'm trying to stay like three or less. Let me look at this black one because I didn't actually check the owners of it. So this black car has had, does it say, does it say, does it say, read more. Owners is such a weird thing. It's not something I usually look at. Um, how many owners? I can't see on this black one. So I have to call them up and give them a call. It looks like this car, Motor Aid Essex service. Uh, this black one hasn't been serviced at Mercedes for a while. So um, that's also a bit of a red flag. You would kind of want one that's got full Mercedes service history. And then if we go to the higher side, they have um, the estate version of the cars, the wagon. I'm not really interested in a wagon, uh, although it seems like the wagon's more appealing. It's holding its value a bit stronger. And then they have this four-door one. Again, not really interested in a four-door. I think there's such a discrepancy uh, through uh, the pricing that it just makes it a bit hard, but I've got people on my side. And I'm gonna do some research. So I'm gonna check out um, a couple of these cars and show you guys, and then check out the 918 as well and uh, show you that as well, because I'm super duper excited to get the 918. It's been a while. It's a shame it didn't happen in summer, but now is the best time to buy a car, and I've always kept that in mind as my automated lights turn on in my dining room. Uh, yeah, so I'm excited to get it. Uh, what do you guys think? C63507, alternatively, the other car that I'm thinking about getting um, for the same price, same-ish money, Lexus LC500, the V8, not as fast, I don't think. It makes a hell of a noise and is a gorgeous looking car. Oh, there's one at the same dealership. So if I go there, I could probably um, see both at the same time. I like this car, I've always liked this car. I don't know, I would probably end up just dailying this. That's the only thing, whereas the C63 will feel more special, more like a collector's car, but we shall see. What do you guys think I should do in terms of a collectible car? Should I look into it or, uh, or not for the C63? I'm gonna look at it anyway, but I just want your opinion. Thanks for watching if you watched this far. It's been hard to do a video this week because I've been so busy and I've had so much uh, work to catch up on because I was ill. But I'm gonna bring you loads of content. I've got some uh, companies lining up to give me some cars in the coming weeks, so it should be pretty interesting. Uh, when I say give me cars, give me cars to like test drive and bring you reviews on. Um, I revealed the winner of the last competition. They haven't messaged me yet. So um, I'm gonna start another competition right now. So um, if you want to get your hands on something pretty cool, pretty amazing, pretty awesome. Um, when I say pretty cool, pretty amazing, pretty awesome, I actually don't want it is. And to be fair, it's not a competition, I'm just doing a giveaway. So I'm going to give something to one of you guys. Uh, I'll just pick someone at random in, in the comments. Um, I just want you to comment um, peeled lemons. And then if you could also tell me where I ate. I don't know yesterday maybe uh, anyway thank you for tuning in my editor's gonna have a great job editing this uh because uh it's all over the place but enjoy and have a nice day